I'm done! Why are you playing? Fuck! I think you've had enough of that. Let me introduce you to Radic. Someone who has mental breakdowns in Discord VCs after losing TF2 MGE duels, and someone who heavily projects his true feelings onto other people. Basically, he's a hypocrite and a manipulator who resorts to any sort of low scummy tactic in order to save face and preserve what dwindling fanbase he still has. If you still don't know who Radic is, I don't blame you. He's basically one of those small YouTubers that dedicate their entire channels to drama and trolling videos. And by trolling and drama videos, I don't mean it in the good funny way like Forby. I mean it in the more twisted, hypocritical, Venusian rapper way. By this, I mean that he intentionally cuts out crucial parts of the story in order to completely twist the narrative to paint himself as a hero and everyone else as villains. But when I say that he's a drama TF2 YouTuber, I really mean it in the worst way possible. He's built his channel on farming drama or making clickbait videos framed as spooky TF2 facts while just being terribly written ARGs. Anyways, what if I told you that he really is a whole lot similar to Venusian in more ways than just his scummy personality traits. He also closet cheats in TF2, but at the same time makes videos like this. So now that you're introduced to Radic and what he does, let me just present the overwhelming amount of evidence that points towards him being a closet cheater and terrible human being, while also showing the terrible things he's done to other TF2 YouTubers and even just regular people. One important thing to note is that since he is a manipulative person by nature, nearly everything he does is only to benefit himself and preserve his image. Even if he gets caught with hard evidence saying vile things to other people, he will still go out of his way to lie and spread misinformation about the person who called him out in an attempt to make them look like the bad guy. This is just one of the many times he has tried to slander other people. And after hours of research and reviewing his videos, I can confidently say that he is an unreliable narrator, and everything he says should immediately be scrutinized and taken off a grain of salt, as we obviously cannot take his words as fact anymore. This is also accompanied by the fact that he lives nearly a double life outside of his YouTube account. As much as he tries to make people believe that he is this good person that doesn't care about hate, it's just not true, and it's simply impossible for him to try hide his true character, as eventually, he's bound to slip up and videos of him raging and projecting like this get uploaded, and we can really see what he's like off camera. But do you notice how we never see the side of him in his own videos? This is because he blatantly cuts these parts out completely, and has gone on the record to try to deny all incriminating recordings of him, but it's nearly impossible to do that, when the account, the voice, and the personality are all identical. The version of him outside his YouTube videos is a true him. I want to make that clear. The whole character he likes to portray himself as on his own videos is all just an act he puts on to make you believe his side of the story more than everyone else's. This is a key part of the story and I want you to remember this going forward with the video. For me to show you what he's truly like, we need to see other videos of him from different people and seek unbiased perspectives to be able to construct a clear timeline of what's happening. And who else is better for the job to provide us with the footage than fellow Aussie TF2 YouTuber and server hoster Brattles. Somehow despite all odds, when Brattles and his friend were browsing through the server list, he found one of Radek's servers. So he decided to hop on, and immediately after playing for a little bit, Radek is already saying some pretty toxic stuff and being incredibly childish. But wait, let's skip to the good part. And the part where Radic called Brattles a PDF file. And before you say anything, this is obviously him. And there's no way for him to dodge accountability when the evidence is this damning. Let's take a listen to the clips from Brattles' video and see what Radic is truly like when he thinks he isn't on camera. Go back to your country, European. European? 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 Alright, ban, ban this, uh, ban this pedophile. Oh my god. <laughs> Mega believable. <laughs> Not looking like such a good guy now, huh? A far cry from how he portrays himself in his YouTube videos, and this is all on purpose. Just like every egotistical and prideful manipulator, he acts very differently when he knows he's being recorded. In this video and other videos, you can see that he acts really cocky and says the most vile stuff imaginable, but nearly every single time, you can see the exact moment he realizes he messed up and tries to desperately escape from the grave he dug himself. Like the part where he gets so fed up with Brattles and his friend embarrassing him that he tries to silence him by banning him from his server 
for no other reason than to protect his ego. But little did Radek know, our friend Rettles was recording the entire time, and once he figured this out, he tried to do damage control and claim that Rettles was the one saying the messed up stuff, but didn't include it in his video, and that the person he was playing against wasn't actually him. Of course, for anyone hearing this, it's incredibly hard to believe what he's saying, especially since Radek lies all the time in his videos, and at first, he posts a few comments going along with this little story. But after he realizes he's getting clowned on, he deletes all his comments and claims that Brattles did it, with no evidence whatsoever. He just expects you to take his word for it, and this is also a key factor for the story. I reached out to Brattles about this incident, and he confirmed to me that he in fact did not delete the comments, and that Radek was the one who deleted them himself. Now that you understand what Radek truly is like, let's present the actual evidence that he in fact cheats. And yes, I'm 100% confident when I say that he closet cheats, and I'll prove it. First of all, he has multiple accounts on Steam that have been either vac banned or banned by admins on community servers. He actually has been banned from so many community servers on his accounts that it's much easier to name the places he isn't banned from. Also, another important person who has helped me tremendously with this case is TF2 YouTuber Kevin. Someone who is also deep in the Radic investigation and has made a few videos of his own exposing the truth about Radic. After I reached out to Kevin, he generously gave me every single account confirmed to be owned by Radic. And just to be safe and put the nail in the coffin, let's definitively prove right now that these accounts are all linked to him. For some of these accounts, they're incredibly easy to link together, as they all share the same furry avatar and also have insensitive aliases with edgy messages in chat. But these two other accounts are a bit more difficult to confirm, but it's still possible. Now at first glance, you might say that these are two entirely different accounts, with different dates and all, but I don't see that. To me, it looks like someone who's trying really hard to hide the fact that they're using an alt account. And maybe because they've already been busted by server plugins like Sawstoof, which is built to automatically ban alt accounts from a cheater. First off, for these two accounts, let's look at the ban reasons in Steam history for these accounts, and one of them the Pro 9000 DPM has been featured in one of Radek's old videos. It also has been banned from Scrap.tf and UGC for being suspected as an alt. Firegod, on the other hand, has a profile that's eerily similar to one of Radek's thumbnails and was banned for having an inappropriate spray in UGC and for toxicity and tryharding. If I had to take a wild guess, the spray Radek used would have probably been furry porn or just something he already shows in his videos. And the tryharding part? I think it's pretty obvious that Radic is a tryhard. So now we know that these accounts are all owned by him. It's time to show you the footage from his own videos that have him blatantly using cheats. But quickly before we get into that. For those who don't know, in most modern TF2 cheat software, there's a setting called Anti-OBS that completely hides all traces of the cheating visuals to recording software. It pretty much allows for him to record himself cheating without instantly giving it away. But let's not forget that anti-OBS can't hide blatant cheating on his side. One important thing to note about cheats is that no matter what you do, and no matter how good you are at hiding the fact that you're cheating, you're bound to slip up eventually and give it away. Radic has slipped up multiple times, and one of his most egregious examples being this now unlisted sniper MG dual video, where he pretty obviously is using Triggerbot, and I want to highlight the parts where it's really obvious. Now for those who don't know what Triggerbot is, Triggerbot is a cheat for TF2, that shoots as soon as your crosshairs land on the player, and it's most commonly used on Sniper to instantly headshot or body shot victims. And it can be quite tricky to spot, especially since more experienced cheaters know how to hide it well in their gameplay, but Radic on the other hand is not an experienced cheater. I mean he tries his hardest to hide it, but it's still apparent for his telltale signs of every trigger bot user. For reference, this is how a legit Sniper player lines up headshots. Notice the way he moves his crosshair and tracks heads. Now let's look at Radic Sniper gameplay, and wow, there's a huge difference, and I'll tell you why. Since Triggerbot can be quite finicky, since TF2's hitbox detection and hit registration is pretty janky, it can result in Triggerbot making big mistakes, since remember, Triggerbot is an add-on program injected into the game, and will always be slightly delayed when relaying information to the TF2 server. Notice how it's almost like he's trying to search for the head hitbox and just rely on pure luck to hit headshots? This is not how any sniper main or even sniper player acts, as you don't need to go over the same hitbox twice. You always just click on it as soon as you can and as quickly as possible. The moments when he's fully relying on Triggerbot are really obvious, since 
It's almost like he's not even trying to headshot the enemy himself, and is just leaving the work all to someone else. Also, another tricky curveball I want to get out of the way in general for cheats is the fact that most cheat software allows for cheats to be turned on and off for the click of a button. And some even allow for the ability to set up specific parameters to tell the cheat software when to activate, like with trigger by having a circle on the screen that will only headshot a body shot players inside of the circle. Less experienced trigger bot users will have this radius be really big, and this will result in the occasional accidental kill, while more smarter trigger bot users will have a smaller radius to reduce the chances of accidental headshots and also because they can rely on their own skill to mask the use of cheats. Since this is a private 1v1 setting, and there aren't any other people that Radic can accidentally headshot, him accidentally headshotting someone other than his intended target is off the table. At least in this video, since there is definitely not an instance out there where he does accidentally headshot someone. So this leaves us with the manual override option I mentioned prior that I haven't covered. Like I said, TF2 cheats have the option to be toggled on and off in game, and this is usually done in response to players catching on to cheaters, so this is sort of a last resort cheaters will use to not get banned. But in most cases, and especially in Radix's case, it just makes it way more obvious that they're not legit. Notice how he suddenly cannot hit a headshot for the life of him, when before he was hitting headshots like a madman, for some reason now, when the shot is lined up perfectly for him, he just can't do it. Seems to me that he turned off his trigger bot with a bind, or had special parameters set up to try control the activation of his cheats. But this just made it all crystal clear to the fact that he cheats and uses trigger bot. For those non-believers still out there, let me just ask you this. Why would suddenly his headshot ability as sniper just drop off out of nowhere, when for any other player who's decent at sniper, this wouldn't happen, especially mid-game? Now let's move on to an infamous clip showcasing aimbot cheats that I'm sure you've seen before if you've been keeping up with this drama. The Radix Scout aimbot video. It's just incredibly incriminating, and even someone who doesn't know how aimbot works can tell this is not how a human player aims. I don't even know if it's necessary to show a side-by-side -side comparison of a real scout player. These aren't flicks. This isn't how any human player would flick at all in any video game. And this is just even more hard evidence to the fact that Radic is not legit. Notice how the crosshair seems to wobble to the left and right in a perfect way every single time. Also in other videos, his aim is so shaky to the point where it makes you question. Why does he need to shake his mouth so sporadically? There's a reason why no one aims like this since it's impractical and serves no purpose. Alright, I think you get the picture. And with the overwhelming amount of evidence, both in automated bands and manual bands, in nearly every major community server, in addition to these clips I've shown you, I think it's safe to say that he's a closet cheater. Now moving on to the next major topic of this video, his true colors and how he really acts when the cameras aren't rolling. Radic fakes nearly every single video he uploads nowadays. By this I mean in his true story videos that are fake and scripted, and his other videos where they're so biased with how they're edited that they're just not real anymore. By this I mean if he's trying to make a video exposing someone, he'll instead have his friend act as a stunt double for the person he's trying to expose and combine this with a little bit of the truth in the form of real messages or gameplay from the person he's trying to slander, it starts to make his lies seem more believable and his content more dangerous and misleading. At first he wasn't like this and would only like to make his videos more entertaining like here, where he intentionally loses his own challenge right at the point where he starts to get bored to make the video more entertaining. However, as time went on and Radic became more and more deranged, he moved on to staging entire videos strictly just to slander other people who go against him and make more entertaining content. This is best seen in this video, with its entire purpose being to slander Brattles and make him seem unreasonable. But no Radic, you aren't the good guy in this case, you're actually far from it. But I just want to quickly mention, for some reason, he really enjoys doing this whole edgy idubs chick in most of his videos while also looking like this. So I mean, just pick a side bro. You can't be acting like an edgelord while also being a furry femboy. But I mean hey, at least it shows people his true character. Like how I mentioned before with how he intentionally combines elements of the truth in this mostly fake video in order to make his lies seem more believable. You can see it best during his expose video where he encounters the real Brattles in game and starts to talk with him, but then cuts the video to a fake version of Brattles in an MG server and ends up beating him since his friend knew to play bad for the video to be more entertaining. He does this whole act with his friend intentionally to drag his opponent's name through the dirt, 
And he's also done this with another critic of his, but in the exact opposite way. At first, his friend changes his Steam account to look like Kevin, and we can tell this isn't really Kevin since the impersonator in the video had a previous conversation with Radek where an MG score was brought up, completely unrelated to Kevin. This means this was one of Radek's friends who just changed his account to look like Kevin's. And after this brief segment with the fake Kevin spouting blatantly transphobic messages and just being intentionally hateful, we then have the video cut to the real Kevin versus Radek in an MG match. You can start to see why doing this sort of stage content, even if it's to make the video more entertaining, is incredibly dangerous and misleading as it's made with the goal in mind to slander people who are against him. He's also not afraid to make up fake comments like this one for Inspect Element, and he's not afraid to make up lies against other people who are opposed to him in an attempt to ruin their reputation. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he attempts to try this on me, but for the sake of not giving him any more attention than he deserves, and to not risk fake rumors being spread about me, I will intentionally go out of my way to not respond to him on any platform, and so should you, dear viewer. Here's the funniest part about this all. When it's us exposing him and posting raw footage of him crying and raging, now we're the ones going out of our way to fake footage and make up lies against him. This is just another pathetic excuse he uses, since he's still under the impression that people still take him seriously. Just to let you know that any footage you can find out there of a player who seems extremely similar to Radic making racist remarks and raging voice chat is most definitely him. And there's no doubt about it, when the accounts both sound and act like him to a perfect level. This also means clips like this are really him. Don't ask the server's fucking trash! Where is the server located? There's no way in fucking hell, boy, any of you two retarded fucks get double digits on me. But back onto the topic of him staging videos with his strand on the MGE servers. This video in particular is a clear example of that. And here's the proof. Originally, when I saw this video, I thought it could just be another throwaway Steam account created by his friend just for the video. But after failing to find the account, I went to the next reasonable option that his friend simply changed his name to Elo Famine and acted extremely toxic, then after recording, just changed his name back and cleared his previous aliases. After getting the link to his friend's account and comparing the pictures of the profiles side by side, it makes it pretty clear that this is the same person. It doesn't make sense that Elo Famine's account would disappear without a trace straight after the video released and also explains why Reddick refused to show more than the account name in this cropped picture. I also found the Elo Famine Twitter account, and ever since the video's release, there have been no new posts, but the old posts definitely sound a lot like Radic, which leads me to believe that this was just another alt account that he created. It's painfully ironic how much this TF2 YouTuber projects, to the point where it makes you question, what other sides about him that he's projected onto other people that he himself might be hiding. All right, ban, ban this, uh, ban this pedophile. Of course, I won't jump to conclusions that early, but it's just something to keep in mind, as we've all seen what happened with Benusian, where he would do the same thing and turned out to be a really terrible human being. Exactly how he described other people. Of course, there are plenty of videos about him already, and when one form of cancer in the TF2 community gets eradicated, another one will take its place. That's just the nature of the world. And there will of course need to be someone who can successfully weed out these people before they really start to become a problem. I know there are going to be a bunch of people saying, oh, don't give him attention, that's what he wants. But wouldn't the same logic apply to serial killers? Like we shouldn't give them the attention in the form of national news alerts since that's what they want, right? Just food for thought. And of course, outside of this video, we shouldn't give him any more attention Apart from maybe the occasional Steam profile jester badge, but that's it, since these people feed off drama. One thing I want to point out that's really important is that somehow Radic has more subscribers than me. Like, come on now. The quality difference between him and me is insane. So if just from me posting this video, I pass them in subscribers, I would just be eternally grateful. So please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, and I mean you likely did since you made it this far, and want to see another well-researched video going deep into TF2 topics, you can go ahead and click the video on the screen. And as always, have a good one. I can see them everywhere. I can see them everywhere.